So you just graduated from college, you don't know what you're doing, and that's where this video comes into play. There is a lot of college advice videos out there, but I felt like I wanted to give you guys some very, very specific tips on things that are going to change your life right now. A lot of these are things that I had to learn the hard way, and I'm just trying to share them with you so that you don't have to learn them the hard way. And even then, you still might learn them the hard way. But at least someone told you. So here's a list of eight things you need to do after graduating college. Number one, master the art of the email, the Facebook message, even the DM. This is crucial for networking. Networking can happen on any platform now, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, maybe even Snapchat. If you can learn how to write something that shows respect, tells the person what you're trying to do, and also explains how you can help them, that will change a lot. And this, to be honest, goes for any message, because if the person can tell that you did not put any effort into writing that, they're not gonna wanna reply. Here's an example of a whack message. Hey, I just started photography. Can you please check my page and tell me what I need to change to become a better photographer? <laughs> hey, I really love your photos and I'm really passionate about photography. I was wondering if it would be possible that I could help you out on a shoot one day. That's a good message. See, there is a right way to slide into the DMs. And honestly, I don't know if this is asking too much, but I really recommend you guys learn how to take a phone call. Those are important too. And number two, try to put your phone down when you're meeting with people. You see this phone? Turn it around, face down, on the table, in your pocket, in your purse, in your purse, whatever it is, just don't constantly check it. Chances are whatever you're checking, it's not that urgent. I don't really feel like this conversation is including me anymore. Instead of contributing, let me just look busy and clear all my apps. This is actually gonna force you to lock in, engage with somebody, and talk with them. Like, like how real people actually do like with your mouth talk words and the third piece of advice upon graduating college do not go overboard and buy a bunch of things at ikea until you find an apartment you really like remember keep it light stay flexible you don't know what you're doing trust me ikea is not going anywhere anytime soon lax will always be 7.99 and there will always be a sofa bed you can buy the more furniture you get the more you will have to move and probably wherever you're at right now is not where you want to stay long term and number four being an adult means that there will be an obscene amount of paperwork, so keep it organized. 1099s, W9, 401k enrollment, healthcare, car insurance, renter's insurance, apartment application, apartment contracts, application, 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 mortgages, direct deposit slips, payment stubs, and unfortunately, taxes. If it's actually paper, then keep it in a folder, and if it's on the computer, electronically sign it, and also keep it on a folder. If you have preview on your Mac or Adobe Reader on your PC, this is super easy. You're just gonna scan your signature in once and then you get to drag and drop it onto any document that you need to sign. No more shit trackpad signatures. They're shitty. They look horrible. They just look terrible. Don't do them anymore. <sighs> Man, it doesn't even look anything like my name. All right, just send it. And number five, you are going to have to narrow down your friends list of people you actually want to see. A lot of people you spent time around in college or around campus were actually just out of convenience. Don't worry, it happens to everybody. They were your friend's roommate, your roommate, classmate, friends of friend, whatever. When there's no more centralized campus, you actually have to schedule people in. So now you actually have to evaluate how much effort and time it takes to see this person with how bad you want to see this person. I'm sure this is going to happen if it hasn't already. Hey man, we should catch up sometime. Oh yeah, sure. Sure, man, there's this like cool cafe down the street. Oh man, I don't really know if I'm gonna be around the city, so. Oh yeah, well I, I kinda like live in the city. What about next weekend? Oh yeah, man, I don't know, I'm pretty busy. Oh yeah, no worries, man, I'll let you know next time I'm around. I mean, I follow your Instagram story, so I, I kinda got it. I I'll just DM you if I ever have a question about your life. Number six, you do not need the perfect job at first. Learning in college was just the beginning. You're actually gonna learn everything you need to know when you actually do the job. I mean, to be honest, I forgot most of what I studied in college. Think of it this way. In college, you pay to learn. And after college, you get paid to learn. It's kinda lit. Oh man, I, I don't know how to do any of this. Pfft, dude, ask me anything, man. I'm an expert. And the seventh piece of advice is, Say yes to as much as you can. Happy hours, weekend gigs, side projects, apply for a job, give a speech, volunteer, who knows, you might like something. And if you don't like it, then you don't gotta do it again. Try to do something that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. Well, what's the worst that can happen? I'll apply, I'll get rejected, and then nobody else will know except for me and that person, and I guess two people, that's 
it's not that many people. And after you try a bunch of things and meet a bunch of people, you can actually judge who and what is good for your life. And number eight, the last thing you gotta do after graduating college is put in the work for the next five years to set yourself up for the next 30 years. No, this does not mean you have to work at the same job for five years. But now is the best time to try things out, set a foundation, create good habits, and network the shit out of the people. All right, if you were to message one new person every week for five years straight, that's 260 people people and out of those 260 people I guarantee it and not that I can really guarantee anything but one of those people would change your life of course you can get serious about your career at 28 or 29 but it's just a lot harder so that is the list of eight things that you should definitely know upon graduating from college I hope it was helpful personally I'm not gonna tell you guys that I'm as successful as I wish I was but I did pursue my passion straight out of college and I don't regret it for one second just because I'm here seven years after college doesn't mean that I want to stay here forever, but I mean, at least I have some options or at least I know what I can and cannot do. The next five years will be the best time in your life to take risks, stay light, share ideas, and connect with people. And if you don't believe me, I actually got that from Gary V. So you tell him he's wrong. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful or if there's anything else that you would like to add on to it. And make sure you turn on your notifications, give this video a like, and share it with anybody who might need to hear it. All right, that's all I got for you. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.